Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. On this episode of Crazy Good Adventures, we're going crazy. In two miles, take exit 71 for US 52 East toward New Richmond. Welcome to Ohio. That's right. We traveled north from my home in Tennessee to the Ohio River, Southern Ohio, and the city of Cincinnati. Deb is originally from this area, so we thought we'd check it out. New Richmond is a really nice little town. There's nothing like a sunset on the Ohio River to start the week off. So after a good night's sleep, we enlisted a tour guide, who just so happens to be Deb's best friend from high school, to show us around Cincinnati. Gorgeous town. Cincinnati skyline is a great combination of old and new, but we'll get to that later. It's definitely a city of murals. Speaking of old and new, this is the Carew Tower. It's 49 story, 574 feet Art Deco building completed in 1930. We got to walk around the inside, and it's just amazing. No trip to Cincinnati would be complete without a visit to the Tyra Davis Fountain. This genie of water fountain was actually put here in 1871, and has been moved a couple of times. The downtown area is big, and it sits right on the banks of the Ohio River. It's a great place for ballparks. We had to check them out. It's got a great sports history. The big red machine used to be here. There was Saturday, there was a game that night and uh, they were partying early. What a great stadium. Great American ballpark. Johnny Lee Bench. Big Red Machine is its finest. The old Riverfront Stadium used to be here, and now this place has taken its place, right next to the Great American Insurance Company building. Can you guess who the Reds were playing today? Cincinnati still has riverboat cruises that run up and down the Ohio River. That would be a lot of fun. One of the coolest things about Cincinnati is the John Roebling Suspension Bridge. This thing was built in 1865 to 1867 and is still a functional bridge today. It actually connects Cincinnati to Covington, Kentucky, which is just on the other side of the bridge. We found out this weekend that Deb's ancestors were one of the first people to cross this bridge with the horse and wagon. Did I mention this was a city of murals? This is Paycor Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bengals. 
think Cincinnati has an infinity for purple flower. And no crazy good adventure video will be complete without waterfalls. Even the birds are excited about today. Downtown area is really hopping today, and this is right near an old carousel that they've got inside a building. And of course, they've had to take a ride. They actually have an old piano that plays bells. Yeah, I know. Don't quit your day job, right? Cincinnati was one of the major areas for the Underground Railroad. And it's called the Queen City for a reason. The architecture of these old churches is amazing. And no trip to Cincinnati would be complete without Cincinnati chili, I mean spaghetti. Our next stop was at Cincinnati Union Terminal. This was built in 1931. This Art Deco area here in Cincinnati is just amazing. This is actually tile work on the walls. It's fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, this is the original pipe organ. It ranges nine octaves. And the acoustics in this place are amazing. And that was our trip to Cincinnati. Folks, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, Hit that notification bell and get ready for our next video as we look at covered bridges and tour Lincoln's birthplace. Thanks again.